Hello, this is Eric Farmer, your outreach specialist. I'm recording this as a help for the FAFSA. Uh, so some things you need to do before and uh, while you're f filling out the FAFSA. First thing you want to do is create your FSA ID. Uh, you go to fsaid.ed.gov to create one. The student will need one. At least one parent in the household will also need one. You also uh, need to make sure that your email address, if you use one, are going to be different from each other. So the parent has to have an uh, email, email address, the student will need also an email address. Once you create your FSA ID, the FSA ID, once again, is the signature for your FAFSA and also allow you to go into and use the IRS data retrieval tool. Um, once you're done with your FSA ID, you'll need to log into your FAFSA. Make sure you go to the, the correct website, which is fafsa.gov. Um, once you log in there, make sure you're also selecting the 2017-18 FAFSA. That's for this up, this next uh, academic school year. Uh, once you're in, you're pretty much going to be asking, asking, answering questions as if the student is there filling it out. When you get to the parent section, the parent financial section, that's when you can use the parent's FSA ID to pull the information from the IRS database into the FAFSA. Just make sure that you type in the address in the database exactly the way it looks like on the paper tax form. So if you're using the 1040 or 1040A or 1040Z, make sure it's on there. Also make sure that the filing status is the same that you see on the database retrieval tool um, that is also on your paper copy as well. Um, if you have any questions or need anything, my name is Eric Farmer. You can catch me, ask, ask me questions through this uh, media, YouTube. Also, uh, I'm on Facebook and Twitter at eFarmer TSACSE. Hope all is well. Good luck to you, and y'all have a nice day.